Alright, so now we're going to cover the portion on the song where he's moaning and it'll sound like this. And, and this can be a little bit tricky, but this is a, a typical lick that he uses in this tuning that you can hear in Devil Got My Woman, Cypress Grove Blues. If you haven't checked out those videos on my uh, Legacy Delta Lou music videos, definitely check those out because those licks are covered as well. So really, this portion can be a little bit tricky in, um, in uh, getting, getting down pat, but we're going to compartmentalize everything. And it should be pretty straightforward. So go ahead and go to the second page and you'll see that this uh, initial lick is a series of six notes. It'll sound like this. That's what we're going to play here. And you can play that with the index finger here or the thumb. And what you're going to do is you're going to... The notes are all going to fall. This is going to be a combination of a hammer-on pull-off on the third string between the second and fourth frets. And the four notes are going to sound like this. You're going to go to the second fret, you're going to strike that once, second fret on the third string, and then you're going to go to the fourth fret, a pull, a hammer on to the fourth fret on the third string, then back to the second fret again. So it's going to be a combination of three notes. One, two, three. All on the third string. Second fret, fourth fret, second fret. Then you're going to play open on the third string. And now the four notes will sound all together like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So those are the first four notes. And then you're going to play the, uh, the fourth string open right after that. One, two, three, four, five. Typical Skip James lick. So you play, those are the first five notes, and then you cap off on the top string open. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's that first portion. Pretty easy after uh, repetitive practice. <clears throat> and then what he's going to do is gonna, he's going to play a, a kind of tremolo, a vibrato, tremolo, vibrato motion on the first fret, third string, right here. And you're going to play this kind of vibrato tremolo kind of thing on the first fret, uh, third string, and then the third string open. And he plays that six times. Uh, and it'll go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So just try doing that. I pluck it once. And I, I create six notes out of this motion. So uh, from the beginning, it'll sound like this. And that combination is crucial. The two together make up this portion where he's moaning. And after he 
plays that, he goes to the third fret top string. And, and, and all together sound like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. After this lick, he goes to the top uh, string on the third fret. And he goes there, and then he goes back to this riff again. And he plays again this motion, and instead of going to the top uh, string on the third fret, he just goes to the fifth string open on the fifth string. So it will sound like this. <clears throat> and then he goes and plays this again. Back to the third fret. So really there's, there's three uh, sequences here. The first sequence is like this. Okay, that's the first sequence. I'm ending on the top string on the third fret. Okay, then the next sequence will sound like this. It's essentially the same. And instead of ending on the third fret, top string, he's resolving and ending on the fifth string open. That's the second sequence. And then, the third sequence will sound like this. He reverts back to the third fret top string. So there's three sequences in all, and this is where he moans the lyrics in the song. So we go all together, I'll play it fluidly and a little faster. It will go like this. And I'll uh, moan and explain at the same time. So from the beginning it's top string third fret. Fifth string open. Back to the third fret top string. Remember, three sequences. One. That's, that's all he's doing, is he's just cycling, ending, playing these licks, and then just ending, dissolving that riff on whatever appropriate final bass note. So the, there's three sequences in all. The first one ends on the top string third fret. The second sequence ends on the fifth string open. And then the last sequence ends, resolves back again on the third fret top string. So in all, it's... Okay, so now we're at that stage. So he plays that and he goes back into this riff again. And then back to the fist string open, he sits there. And then this is the, uh, the part where he goes, Times is harder than ever been before. <laughs> All right, let me explain that again. But uh, so yeah, he goes into that. He plays the fifth string open, and then he plays this riff. It's a sequence of four bass notes that caps off those three sequences. So I'll, I'll, uh, I'll try to re-explain kind of where it falls after this lick. So I'll again play those three sequences. Plays this lick. And then he ends the sequence like this. It's four notes. And it's going to be on the 5th string open, 3rd fret, 
fifth string, fourth string open, and then end on the top string open. And that's how he ends that sequence. So in, in all together from the beginning, it's Okay, and that, that uh, ends that sequence. And then after he does that, he goes back into this riff, uh, this chord on the third and fourth fret. So again, it that those three sequences. This lick, open string on the fifth string, then this bass lick to end that uh, sequence. Then to this chord. Then he continues on to the next stanza. And the people are drifting from door to door. Can't find no heaven, matter where they go. And then repeat accordingly across the rest of the song. So we covered in these past two segments is the main verse, which is revolving around double stops. Then with the part where he moans, there are these licks. With these licks here, I'm playing them with my thumb. Or however is more comfortable for you. Alright, so we've covered those, the main meat and potatoes of this song, which is really difficult. I'm not necessarily playing it note for note correctly like Skip James. This is my best interpretation. This is a song I cannot get down pat. Some other people do it a lot uh, better than I do. So, um, now we can go to the instrumental break, which happens in the middle of a song. And then we'll uh, finish with the outroduction and then wrap up everything. So stay tuned. Okay, so the rest of the song is these combinations. He, um, he sings with these double stops, followed by the licks. All right, and then there comes an instrumental break where he doesn't sing and it'll sound like this. And that instrumental break is, is just repeating what we learned in the verse. And it's imperative that you get the double stop motions down where you're playing the bottom string in, in conjunction with what you're playing in the bass strings. So that's really the, the instrumental break. I'm not going to sit here and and break it down note by note because we already did that in the verse, but that's all that is. And it's laid out for you in the tablature. And then he repeats the remaining stanzas. <sighs> all right, so the outroduction is something very peculiar and it'll sound a little bit like this. And he's doing um, these, these kind of combinations here of double stops, which also appear in Cypress Grove Blues. Now the way I have it, uh, the way that he plays it is not really distinct, but uh, what you're going to do is 
have this kind of chromatic rundown on the second, third, and fourth frets, playing double stops with uh, the third string and the bottom string being played on whichever corresponding um, frets. So to start off that introduction, he starts off by playing these, the first and the third strings open, then he goes to the second fret with the same fingerings, he plays the second fret, goes, slides into the third fret with the same fingerings, to the fourth fret with the same fingerings, And then he um, also does sort of the lick, double stop of licks. Again, it's all double stops. And that's, he's just playing this lick, which we learn, except in double stop motion. And then he ends, obviously resolves with the top string open. So that's the outroduction. And I think we've covered basically everything you need to know about this song. So uh, if you haven't already, definitely download the ebook and and look at the um, hard hard time killing floor blues section. It also has it all of the lyrics available to you and a breakdown of of the main components this is basically how I'm teaching my video lessons I'm reading note for note what I have in the ebook that's available for free download on my free downloads section on www.deltalumusic.com now um, I feel like we've covered the essential skip James works there are four songs in that ebook and uh, moving forward this winter we are going to be studying the music of robert johnson it's going to be an in-depth uh covering of his most famous hits and that's going to be a grand ebook that's in the works right now we, we are going to be robert johnson for the next two months so definitely stay tuned for that. If you haven't already, subscribe to me on YouTube, like me on Facebook, very active on my Delta Lou uh, Music Facebook, and just uh, also check out the website, just see what my mission is all about. So thanks again for all of your support, and, um, and you're helping me save this music. So I really appreciate your kind words and criticism and, and comments. It's all appreciated. So thanks again, everybody.